everyone i'm back um after now we are here for our 30 day update can you believe it one month one whole month i'm i'm shocked <laughs> i'm shocked i'm just as shocked as you are to be honest with you i can't believe i made it um when people say like oh after five days i was feeling good i was running i was jumping i was doing everything what are they talking about it took me to now, to right now, to where I finally feel good and normal, stabilized, my energy is fine. Um, like, t now is when I'm finally like, okay, this fasting thing is like, I'm, I'm feeling good now. I feel what everybody else feels. But it did not take five days at all. Um, so for those of you that are new, that are seeing this 30 day update and they're like, oh, what's this? Click. Um, my name is Asia, um, and I am doing a 100 day juice fast, um, and today is day 30 of that juice fast, so I am whatever percentage of the way through that is. Um, I have lost a total of, I started at 227 pounds, and um, I'm now 203.8, something like that. So I've lost almost 24 pounds, 23 pounds. Um, yeah, and I feel good. I feel really, 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 really good. Um, yeah, that's it really. Uh, the symptoms so far, in the beginning I had headaches of course. Like the first week, I struggled with a lot of headaches and I struggled with just being exhausted. I had a lot of um, acid refluxy type feelings, which that's probably the hardest part. That feeling may and it sounds crazy but that feeling makes me want to eat more than like my stomach grumbling makes me want to eat like getting through the heartburn feelings that i had was the hardest part of this whole fast because i know that eating would just take that feeling away i don't know if that makes any sense scientists people who <laughs> understand the physiology please come in the in the comments help us out this is coconut water by the way yeah come help us out educate us but I don't know why that happens but that happens to me so yeah so fighting that urge to just eat so that my body would quiet down like the symptoms would not be so loud um, was very tempting and it was really really hard to like push past but after week like two three those that started to go away um, and the hunger pains they probably stopped after week two that probably stopped I was I wasn't hungry anymore after week two I still have this sometimes I'll have this feeling of this like intense it feels like hunger but I know it's something else it, it again experts get in them comments and help us out because I wish I could explain what I mean but I still feel it's not the same kind of hunger pain but it's definitely a, a similar feeling but it's way more intense it's like your my stomach is moving literally and I think it's just like cleansing itself honestly I think it's just clearing out and doing doing what it's doing in this detoxing you know time so yeah, I'm not really, uh, but it's not hunger, and I, I don't feel, when I feel that feeling now, I'm not like, ooh, I wish I had some food, I'm just like, ooh, it's doing stuff, you know? Um, ooh, almost knocked over my juice. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Um, 30 days, I feel really good, lost over 20 pounds. Um, it, it's obvious to me, um, but of course, other people won't really know it. Maybe they see something that's a little bit different, like my face looks a little bit different. But to other people, it wouldn't be so obvious, but I definitely see it. Um, I see it up here a lot, and my face for sure, um, and my legs are smaller. I'll, but I definitely feel different. Um, yeah, so day 30, I have 70 days left. <laughs> 70 days left, but I'm excited. Um, I'm excited. I'm not too... I'm not too apprehensive about it. I'm not worried. Um, I know I can do it. If I can do 30 days, I can do 60 days. And if I can do 60 days, then I can do 90 days. And then at 90 days, what's 10 more? That's how I calculate it in my head. And I've also done it before. Like, let's be clear. I've done a 100-day juice fast. Well, 
it wasn't 100 it was more like 90. i did a 90 day juice fast last year late last year so recently um but um if you watch my first video you know that i'm doing it a lot differently this time i'm a i'm a lot more disciplined about it this time um i only drink in the morning i drink about 64 ounces of juice a day i'd say but i stopped drinking at i'd say one is my cutoff um and then water for the rest of the day um just so that my body has time to like really rest and fast for real just as if i was on a water fast um and i feel like that's doing more for me than it did for me than when i was drinking all day long into the night because anytime i had a craving or i felt like i was hungry i would drink um which is good do it i'm not saying that's wrong it's just that my second time around i'm i i want to be less reactive and i want to just allow my body to have those they're just they're just whatever pains i'm having it's my body healing and i want to just allow my body to heal and stop distracting it with more juice that it has to now work to digest and and you know because it's not a water fast you know what i mean like juice is still a self it's still a thing like that it need that needs to be digested don't let anybody fool you and make it sick. like juice it still has calories it still has sugar it might, your body still has to process it so when you drink it just takes away from your body being able to heal um it takes that energy away from doing that not that you're not healing on a juice fast and i and i definitely healed a lot the last time that i and i drank every all day every day i definitely healed but i can heal more if i rest more so yeah this time is definitely different um what else am i changing um last time i cooked a lot i didn't eat but i cooked for my partner a lot and um i just felt like i was eating through my eyes and I was eating, like, yeah, I was eating with my eyes before. And I would, like, sneak a little taste just to make sure that it's, like, salted or it's whatever. And I think I was just finding ways to hang on to the food before. And I wasn't really, like, emotionally giving up, giving, giving myself to the process of, of a break. Um... Also, I watched a lot of food porn type stuff, and I talked about that before, which I do now. I still watch. I still look at food, um, but I try. But I keep it vegan, you know. And I not not just vegan. I try to keep it whole food, plant based vegan. Like I'm not looking at fake vegan foods anymore, like I did before. Like I I love to. I used to love to look at vegan junk food. Like I want to see the burgers and the hot dogs and the and the steak and cheeses and i want to end the mac and cheese and i want to see all the different ways that you can veganize like shitty food but um that i'm trying i'm not indulging in that anymore because again i was eating that stuff through my eyes and then when i stopped when i stopped the fast i went and got that food immediately like i took a trip to new york after i finished that fast and i looked up all the because i live in jamaica now by the way and vegan food is vegan like getting food out you know at restaurants and stuff is a little bit limited um there's a big vegan culture here when it comes to like i tell food and um rastafarianism and stuff like that so there are vegan options here don't get me wrong but like fun vegan food like vegan burgers and fries and all that kind of stuff that's very limited here so um can't really get that so when i finished my fast and like a month later i went to new york i googled all of the vegan places all the all the fancy vegan foods that i could possibly find and i ate it all <laughs> yes i did but and I, I i was like lay waiting it i just couldn't wait i couldn't wait to get there and i ate so much shit um so that just shows you that the last time that i fasted i wasn't i didn't i wasn't i didn't i wasn't working on my food addiction issues i was just waiting until the day that I could go do I could go do me <laughs> so this time is very very different because I'm really working on understanding my food habits what I like to eat and what I need to stop eating what 
what is making me fat? Why am I a fat vegan? Because that's really important to understand. A lot of people look at me and they're like, how are you vegan and you're overweight? And I'm like, mm. but I do know, um, I like fat. I like fatty foods very, very much. I love oil. I love, I can't eat something if it doesn't have, if it wasn't cooked in oil. I just won't enjoy it. Um, I love salt. Um, I love fried foods, love french fries. I eat that a lot. I eat veggie burgers from Burger King a lot. That when they, when Burger King came out with that plant-based patty, girl, I was first in line every day. Every day I was, <laughs> one please. I used to get two, Can I t let's be honest. I used to get two burgers, mm -hmm. two fries, and I would sit down and I would eat one and a half every time. I couldn't finish the second one, but I just knew that the first one wouldn't be enough. And I would eat those two fries, all of them, and if I didn't eat them all, it's because the rest of them got cold because I couldn't get to them fast enough. So I would, so then I would waste them, uh, and then I would have that soda, and yeah, and I didn't count calories back then because I didn't want to know. But let's be honest, that was probably three thousand calories in one sitting, and then that was, but that was just dinner. I had lunch and I had breakfast, so I easily cleared five thousand calories that day. And then I would sit and wonder, why am I fat? I don't understand. It's because of all the processed food that I was eating before. Like, I, I was into processed foods. Like, I was, I like vegetables, you know, but I'm not a vegan that eats a lot of vegetables. I don't eat salads. I don't. I don't eat raw vegetables, and I don't eat fruits. I just eat processed food all day long. Rice, Chinese food is my favorite. I love, I, tofu, I'm a big tofu and rice person. That's not healthy. Don't let anybody tell you that that's healthy because it's not. Tofu is processed food. And, it, and you cannot tell me that after eating tofu and rice, your stomach doesn't hurt. It takes a lot of work for your body to process all that. Um, yeah, I like tofu and rice. What else do I eat? Indian food. And I'm not saying that home-cooked Indian food isn't healthy. I'm not saying that. But I am saying, and tell me, and, you, and guys, please tell me if I'm wrong. Go in the comments, tell me if I'm wrong. I have no problem with a debate. Um, but if you go to an Indian restaurant, that food is swimming in oil, like swimming in oil. Indian food is my favorite food, top. I love Jamaican food, but it's not my top. Indian, then Jamaican, then Chinese, and, and Thai, and then we can keep going. Um, I do like Thai food too. But Indian food is my number one. But it's some of the oiliest food in the world, like alu gobi, that's my favorite, potato and cauliflower. Um, whatever sog, sog, mushroom sog, call it whatever, like I love it. And it's just recently that I found out that a lot of that stuff was made with butter and ghee and stuff and I didn't even know that so was I even vegan honestly? I've eaten a lot of shit that probably wasn't even vegan honestly. Um, so just recently I've asked them to like, okay, to please don't make it with butter. But it's still swimming in that oil though, <laughs> it's still swimming. Um, but yeah, that's another thing that I used to eat a lot. So if you can see the, if you can track the trend here, is I wasn't cooking. I, I really wasn't cooking. I was just depending on takeout every day. And Subway, I ate a lot of Subway. I ate a lot of like vegan Subway sandwiches all the time. So anyway, long story short is um, I'm a processed food junkie. So um, I... Last time I fasted, I really didn't like sit and work and think about that and figure out what I needed to do. What was my game plan after the fast? I didn't have an after fast game plan. I just went straight back to my regular life, back to back to programming. Um, and now I'm really sitting and planning out. Like I even made a list on my computer, like what what meals are okay for after my fast so that I don't have to guess because the guesswork so when I have to guess and I'm hungry I'm just gonna eat out because I can't I, I'm too I'm like ravenous like I need something so I'm just gonna get go to the fastest easiest option um, and that's for everybody everybody does that honestly if you don't have a plan if you're not prepared then you're gonna go for the most convenient thing which is takeout everybody does that but for me it's like detrimental because one time and the next time and the next time and then before you know it I've had takeout every day and I've gained 20 pounds back in two months and I can do that I def I can 
gain 20 pounds. By the way, I don't think I said this. The last time I fasted, I lost 50 pounds. And then in the, from the span of, in the span of, from November to when I started this fast, which is March 1st, how many months is that? Two, three, five months, I gained back 27 pounds again, because I got down to 200. And I gained back almost 30 pounds again in five months eating processed food again right after a 90 day fast so i have a, i have a problem so um this time is different long story short this time has to be very very different because we need we need to really heal mentally and emotionally during this time and figure out also why am i eating um so i i know i'm talking a lot this has been 16 minutes but um i just have a lot to say um Another thing is um, emotional eating. So now, so I've been stressed at work recently. Um, I've had some difficult clients that I've been working with and it's been, you know, stressful. And now I don't have food to fall back on at the end of the day to like soothe myself. I can't soothe, I don't know how to soothe myself without food now. And it's crazy to say that at my big age, I'm, I'm going to be 31 in June. And I just, that's crazy. And it's just now that I'm realizing that that's something that I do. That's, that's something that I'm used to doing. Um, when I'm upset or stressed or happy even, just food is a part of, that's, food is how I celebrate, food is how I self-soothe is just my partner in crime so now when I'm stressed I don't even I'm just I don't even know what to do <laughs> I try to well I mean I just I just talk about it I guess I just talk about it I call my my dad I call my friends I talk to my partner and I just you know emote instead of eating but I'm still left feeling a bit empty so working through that feeling is i'm just i'm just starting to pay attention to that now like oh okay asia like you have to figure out a way to like to soothe that without something external you have to figure out what's how to how to make yourself feel better um so that's something that i'm working on so that's some of the emotional healing that i mean that has to happen during you have to really like take stock of some of your habits some of your emotional habits that you do and some of the ways that you make yourself feel better when you're feeling bad um so that's really important so that's a good example of uh how this fast is different from the last fast uh so yeah anyway that's i think that's enough for today 30 days i'm really excited um for everybody who has been supporting me in the comments i really really appreciate it it, it really helps to push me it really really does truly um i look at them and i'm just like i gotta keep going i gotta keep going there there are people rooting for me and it's not just about me um other people need encouragement too to keep to to heal themselves and I just really want to be a part of something bigger than myself. Um, I really want to help. I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to help people to get through their depression and get through their ways that they're stuck in their lives since I was 16 years old through YouTube. I've been obsessed with YouTube and like with with um, self improvement for a really long time, and I've wanted to be a part of that movement. But I've been sick for so long i i didn't have the strength to help anybody else but i'm finally in a place now where i kind of understand my purpose in life and i know that this is what i'm really meant to do so um i'm just really happy that other people are touched by what i'm doing and it makes me feel really good and it really validates um how i've been feeling about my purpose so um, i really really appreciate it genuinely and yeah so 30 days um I'll, we'll come back again at 37 days maybe or maybe 40 I don't know um, to see how we're doing but yeah uh, so thanks again and I'll see you in the next video